Oh, hold on, Hi, I gotta get down later, What are you on camera for? There you go, give me a photo. Alright, just give Todd a big old hug. <laughs> give him a hug. <laughs> Put a leg up on him. <laughs> You missed the boob grass. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> I did no such thing. <laughs> we never did. Dana says I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my indie life. <laughs> okay. I'm your host. You probably know me. I'm Jessica Cameron. If you don't know my new friends, allow me to introduce yourself to Tachi, a wonderful, talented, passionate, independent filmmaker who I love and respect. I will hopefully work with him in the very near future. And Dylan Von Harvey, who you've probably seen in another episode of Hot Tub Horror Movie Review. And also, pause, side note, we're pretending to be in a hot tub, but we're actually in a swimming pool. So Todd is fucking it's cold. cold. It's not that cold. I'm Canadian. <laughs> Let me introduce you to what real cold feels like. It feels way colder than this. But we're just going to go with Hot Tubs Horror Movie Review because it's like a good acronym. There you go. Yeah. That works. Yeah. But today we are going to be talking about the independent film Behind the Walls. <laughs> so Behind the Wall centers on a young new family who move into a new house and everything is not what it seems and shit goes horribly wrong. Right? Yeah, I would say yeah. that. Right. Definitely. So the cast that you it's would recognize... It's a fixer-upper is what I thought. It's a fixer-upper. Right? But also, I would totally buy that house. I'd be like, oh my god, I can fix that up. That's fucking great. The bones are great. Yeah. Fail. Live. It's a trap. So it stars... Vanessa Angel, Hutch Dano, and Lee Temple, as well as a myriad of other. He's amazing. Yeah. He's yeah. Yeah. great, right? I love them all. I think the whole cast was great, but I'm I'm partial to Lou because he worked with us, so we're on there. Yeah, I love Lou. What did Lou work with on you? He, he worked with us on House of Forbidden Secrets, and you know, after my heart attack, Lou came to visit me uh, right afterwards. I didn't hear that. In we Kansas? We bonded over that. Yeah, he came here. Oh. He's a really good guy. He's a really good person. When was that, and where can people find House of Forbidden Secrets? Uh, well, the wonderful Unearthed Films. <gasps> oh my god, I love Unearthed Films! They put out House of Forbidden Secrets. You can find it. Do a search. It's on Amazon. It's on, uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I will link it down in the description box below. That being said, I love Blue Temple as well. I think he's a really great actor. He is, and he's so good in this movie. He is so he's good. He's so yeah. great in every movie. Yeah, he's he he real. Yeah, he really, he really is. is. He can play Agreed. anything. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So, the cast, I think we can all agree the cast is pretty fucking great, especially oh, yeah. for like an indie film. The kids like, were unbelievable. Oh my, they yeah. were amazing. They were so good. That little boy killed it, like, knocked it out of right. the park. And the like, older brother, too, I thought, man, he's really yeah. got a good range. Yeah. Touch Dano. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. I didn't believe he was older brother. I thought he was a lover. I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why are you saying that to your lover? No. Wait, huh? <laughs> I felt like he looked at his mom, like, not like a mom. And then we're like, that's his mom. I was like, no, that's incest. And then I was like, oh, okay, I'm just confused. I don't know where she got any of this, actually. I, I <laughs> um, didn't find that. Did you, Dylan? Did you um, in the very beginning, I thought he was the husband right. or right? something. Right, because he's, like, he's also way too old to be like the son. Not, not necessarily. My daughter's 21, so. I, but does she look that old? No, like, he she doesn't. He's fucking like mid to late 20s. That's true, yeah. yeah. Well, but the thing is, the he's a hot wasn't guy. All confusing because yeah. the editing, you know, they were being very artistic with it, so they were giving you just images, and it yeah. was hard to figure out who the whole was. It was, it was, it was yeah. yeah. Okay, but let's just talk about, let's just jump to okay. what worked. Because I feel like I'm jumping to what I didn't love <laughs> and what didn't work. So I'll go on limit say the cinema. Photography overall is stunning. It's yeah. fucking great, including the CGI. I think it's really, really well done, including when they go like into the the actual vents. inside the walls. I thought yeah. some of it worked. Some of it felt a little PlayStation Two, <laughs> but uh, otherwise, I you know I thought they what 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 choice did they have really? That was kind of a that's a difficult thing on a low budget film. You'd have to build a whole rig. And For me, thing. it was done so well, I didn't care. Right. Although I can understand why you say like in video game reference, because I was like, yeah, it's so sleek. So well done, but here's the thing, it felt so professional, yeah. it, it didn't did. take me out of the movie. No, no. no. What worked for me was the monster, the creature. I loved the creature, and that really shocked me because I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't either, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like, we're going to have midgets in the wall. I was thinking have... ghosts or apparitions maybe, and uh, 
implied stuff that you would might I might expect implied stuff, but I wasn't expecting an actual creature. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, that great. was great. That's amazing. It's it like really thing. good. Yeah, yeah, it was so well done. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, and we kind of mentioned it off camera, but let's just bring it up on camera. The children, the children are so random. They were like the two look kid. And let's be honest, all of us have worked with children yeah. and or y'all have children <laughs> at which point you're like it's hard to do it's hard to work with children and they were so good they were really like true. really yeah. genuinely deeply really talented like i would hire any of the children in this film on a heartbeat yeah. 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 Okay. So, i i have never had to worry about working with kids i've never had to work with including my son he's done a few films with me so but i've been blessed on that side i'm not like you guys though i haven't had the back side yet <laughs> There. But also, so the older brother, who to me, I will get into whether or not he felt like an older brother, but the guy who was revealed to be the older brother and the younger children's relationship to me was sold really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. Once we find out Hutch Dano is like their older brother, like that relationship felt so authentic yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah. I personally loved I adored that. them. Yeah, yeah, and I, I really felt them. for them too. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I really liked them. So the other thing that I loved about this film was the creep factor. Mm -hmm. So there's so many genuinely creepy moments, which far exceed the production cost. So I think overall, most of those moments to me feel like a much larger production value. And that's great. Like I think too, like the moment where but side though, for the record, this is going to contain spoilers. <laughs> spoilers, a little late. Too Everything we talk about on Scream Queen Stream has spoilers. Spoilers! It's always spoilerific. For the record, <laughs> yay, spoilers. That being said, <laughs> I think to that moment where the fingers extend outside of the dr- like the actual faucet. Yeah, that was, yeah. Oh, that was like, creepy. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> creepy. Or like she, they're watching the mom change and stuff yeah. behind the mirror. And you just get that feeling where like, I don't know what the fuck you are, but I don't like the idea that anything watching you, it's fucking... <laughs> no, that is, so you, the, you mentioned that and it reminds me a little bit, you know that movie, um, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark from our childhood, with the little creatures that lived in the walls and stuff. This, this kind of takes us to the next... I don't remember that. I know, I know. This, well, you probably remember the Guillermo del Toro update. But, uh, oh, I didn't like that one. Yeah, see, this takes it. I think it does a better they job. They were like stupid little fairies. Yeah, this is. Whereas, like, better. just kick them and they'll go away. <laughs> and it is creepy. There's there's genuine suspense oh. and there's shocks. There's jump scares and there's things in this movie that you know I was I was really excited about. Yeah. Um, I felt like it was incredibly well made, like you said, mm-hmm. and uh, they they really took time with establishing uh, what you know all the things that you you need in a movie of this type it's it's not a gore fest but yeah. what it is is it's a creep fest i mean it's really suspenseful and creepy and it's a very well made film lots and, of uh, jump scares yeah lots and of I good stuff it. going on yeah. i'm a big fan of jump scares and i know a lot of people aren't a big fan but i am and they're done the right scares. they're and done they, yeah. right yeah yeah mm-hmm. it's not know. cheap i was yeah. at work watching it and my bosses are sitting behind oh. me and i jump <laughs> i squeaked and i'm like oh should they hear me <laughs> i'm like she's am i going to get in trouble watching a movie at work <laughs> So I'm gonna for the future. I'm gonna be like, did this movie make Dylan squeak? Squeak. If it doesn't, then it's just not a win. That's right. It's not a win. It did. It made me squeak. No. It has to make you squeaky. It did. <laughs> a squeaky. It made me jump in my rolling chair. There you go. That works. So the next thing I was gonna say is like going into with what we we're talking about is there's so many great and really clever sound effects. So yes. with the great visual cues, there was like with the visual cues, they were so well done and the sound was so powerful. Like, that's what I really feel like gave that like the pump yeah, good sound to like effect. have yeah. a reactionary effect. But for me as far as the lighting goes, and it just might be because I was watching on my laptop at work, it was really hard to see a lot of things. And I, I think it's really probably see. because of that. Yeah. It, could be. I, it looks yeah. fine. It was really, really well shot. It yeah. It was really well shot. Yeah. That's that. I, yeah. I had to turn my lid and I still couldn't see some of the dark yeah, yeah. scenes. Like, when the monster was in the corner. I've heard stuff, people say that about our yeah. movies, and I'm like, why? Because it's very but it, well lit. But it could be, and it could, like I said, it could just be my laptop and at work and the lighting at my work. Right, so those bright lights. I'll have to see if I can find it and watch it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. It was it was pretty well lit. I thought that the music was fantastic. Yeah, I thought the so music really, well done. Really the music was great, perfect, right? Yeah. yeah, it was great. So something else that I thought worked really well was how awkward Reggie Lee was around the children. Mm-hmm. He was so awkward around the children. Yeah, it is almost forced. No, well, for me though, that worked because I just felt he was like that awkward guy around children. Like oh, wait, me, wait, wait, I'm I think I'm meeting lost in who you're talking about. The Asian guy. Oh. <laughs> but he was intentionally horrendously. Okay, okay. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that. I, yeah, you lost How did you forget yeah, that? I can't tell what well, happened. To because him. I was focused on the kids. And yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. 
Yeah, I had an issue with him too. So. I liked him. Oh, but no, I did. The positive. We're gonna talk about the negative in a minute. Okay, okay, it's positive. Yes, he was great at what he was doing. He was like, so. Yes. He did such a great job at yes. being awkward around the children. That's yes. my ass. Touch it. It's fine. You're fine. <laughs> I, was, I was like, how about your, how about your, um, I think I met him somewhere. Or something. He's, he's really good. Side note, dance party. It's fine. I'm frightened beyond belief at this point. You're like, I'm gonna keep my clothing on. Hold on. I'm fully clothed in a hot tub. Scary. Okay, so what did not work for you? The opening oh. editing was a little vague. I know it was trying to be artistic and I started to worry that I was maybe biting because me, you know, yeah. I don't I, I, I love artistic films. I love David Lynch and stuff like that, but I also hate films that feel like they're just being artistic because they want to be like it's, they think they have to be or whatever like pretentiousness you know i hate yeah because they're trying to be well i'm a grindhouse guy so i was like you know driving movies and that's just what right. i love so i was like yeah it's a little pretentious but then it really straightened out and it wasn't at all it was just the opening montage and then also right. i felt like sometimes the mom's character the way she lashed out and did things was yeah, a little but, hard to explain because yeah. She just, for no reason, would do it. I didn't understand that. So that's actually something I called out. I was like, I did not like the female lead's inconsistencies in her performance. So I said, for example, when she's telling the children to not let anyone in in the beginning, she yeah. says, uh, what about their father? She says, especially your father, in a very strange, sharp manner, which doesn't make sense with the plot as we know it. Yeah. I would have preferred yeah, her to just, play it more yeah, concerned that that's that as editing. opposed to the kids and not for the father. We later find out it's not a threat. Because, like, again, if she knows the father's not a threat, mm -hmm. then she shouldn't be, like, acting like the, ch the father's a threat. She should be acting like it's not a threat, but I'm trying to, like, teach you to not be that way. Yeah. Versus the performance felt very threatened. It was weird, yeah. And then, then she literally yelled at kids at the dinner table and just like freaking out. Well, but so that's the other thing. Why. So I actually mentioned, I was like, she never really shows much love for the kids. Yeah. So I actually felt her performance entirely was a miss for me. I felt Hutch Dano and the two kids were great. Lou Temple, great. Reggie, good. And she was just a pass and for I, me. And maybe that was a, a directorial choice or something because they just they didn't have any backstory for the mom, so we didn't know why she was. But here's the thing: I don't care about the backstory. I just never gave a shit about her because she's just a bitch yeah, throughout the entire fucking yeah. film. Like every time we see her, she's being a fucking cunt, and I don't she's care. I don't like you. I, I write. I blame the writers yeah. for that. Well, because that's the character. I mean, because you can only like, do what you're told to say. Maybe, yeah. You so, still know. So, I actually, yeah. I was like, there was inconsistency with the female lead's performance. For example, she's telling kids not letting her in, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but then also, she never really shows much love for the kids, right. especially the younger ones. Overall, she's a very unlikable character. She the first scene, yeah. the first thing we see the mom interacting with the family is her getting angry at the dinner table. For me, this is a weird choice since we should be feeling sympathy for her. Yeah. yeah because but we get the character situation. doesn't evoke that early on. I wish the parameters of the creators were laid out. So yeah. for me, I feel like we don't really get an understanding for who she is. We just yeah. see the fact that like every time the mom's on screen. She's either angry, hateful, bitchy, cunty, or trying to go to sleep. Well, I think the same thing is true, like, especially with the way the movie plays out. I'm not going to give away the ending, but the way it plays out. I mean, out, I will. Spoiler alert. This is going to have spoilers. <laughs> but, uh, but that's a really cool ending, but I, I think it lacked emotional punch because of the mm -hmm. fact that you didn't give a damn about this woman who was an a-hole through the whole thing. But film. I feel like also, had we seen the mother be like a good mother, it care for the children, the children no, it got we would have felt so much more the end impact. Yeah, yeah what well, got me though was amazing. when the very end when she said, I did it for you. And then you're okay. like, did you really bitch? But here's the thing though, the way they edit that really lost me too. And then, and it's just me as a viewer, because I know nothing about movies, mm -hmm. as far as editing and all that stuff goes, just watching. I'm like, okay, she did it for you, and I started to feel bad. And then all of a sudden, she's like, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to be here. She's screaming, trying to get out. I'm yeah, like, wait, I thought you said weird. you, I thought you sacrificed yourself to get out, but yeah, purpose, you're trying yeah. to get out. So that made no sense. And then sense. she's it like, ah, like, come and help me. Yeah, and that made no I'm sense. Like, but you just so I felt that there was like a lot of those inconsistencies. Yeah. Like, even like, I, I actually called that, I was like, there's a lot of random inconsistencies, such as, hold on. Such as, this I mean, following list of 400 her, I could see her saying, I'm here, I'm here, Such but not as, but like, even like in the very beginning, when they walk into the house, the mom says, it's perfect. And then immediately in like the following scene, she makes several references to being able to afford a better house. But it's like, but then why say it's perfect? perfect yeah, yeah. Right? Like, don't it's say it's perfect. It's a similar thing, yeah, where she's like, yeah. I'm doing this and I'm going to stay and I'm going to do this and yeah. this. And then suddenly she's screaming. 
help me. Why am I stuck here? And I'm yeah. like, well, you just, you just said you were going to do it. There's a lot of little, and again, that's a writing issue, yeah. and that's just it's yeah. something that you sometimes don't even notice because yeah. you're so glad to be done with the damn script, right. but you have to give it this final rewrite. Yeah. That's what I'm doing okay. with that for that reason. Fair. But also, am I the only one who felt that Hutch Dano was like the boyfriend and not the son? Yeah, at the beginning, yeah. I, I was like, ooh, mom got a hot young thing. <laughs> In the beginning, yeah, I thought that too, yeah. Yeah. yeah I it's didn't like, get that because I'm a nerd, but <laughs> most people would probably think that. I, I did. We are in the dark now, no, and I'm starting to It's fine. Out. We're going to continue on. It's fine. They're probably going to kick us out if we yeah. don't die. It's fine. Okay. What are you going to do? There's creatures. Is there anything water. else that did not work? Uh, no. Ooh, that's my butt. That works. These two, I swear to God. I got something that I would say, but I'm going to wait for the comments for that one. Okay. Anything else that did not work? I think I'm fine. Okay. Questions, comments, or concerns? My concerns was the damn oven. That freaked me out so much. That was badass. It was, it was really like, effective, but also, like, not possible. <laughs> right. I, like, me. since looked at my oven, and I was like, ovens don't lock like that, though. I'm watching this kid. I'm like, I think it was dare. locked by a supernatural force. It was, yeah. but, like, really, bitch, just, like, bash the, like, the window. Did you yeah. yell at poltergeists like this? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, okay, probably. Just want to make sure. Well, isn't that going, don't you do it? Don't I mean, you do no, it? I mean, no, because like the child died, so we didn't yell at that yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the tree that pulled the kid out? That's impossible. <laughs> I mean, just these are living out. beings. It could happen. But that, 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 well, that, neither is the uh, neither is the uh, oven. It's not a living being. But that's so how well no, but you could like break the window. Oh, yeah. that's true. Or maybe. It's but also, like the other thing that really bothered me about that scene where the mom is like, "Cover your face." It's like, bitch, yeah, yeah, that made no sense. Bitch, if the fucking oven's on, his face is fucked. Yeah. Also, because like if like you're burning, she said, cover your hands, and I'm like, she was like, what? cover your yeah. face with what? What? what you so your arms are going to burn? So you, so you can cook like a chicken? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna cook no matter what. Cause it's an oven. No, yeah, it's not. No, it's you're not like dying. You're Cover your yeah. face. You're fucking dying. That that scene got Just me. It was intense die. for me, and I thought the little boy did a great job in that. So. I agree. Because he made me feel for him big time. I'm like, no, 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 please get out. Please get out. Do not kill him. I did. I will say, I was like on board with. Her. I was like, get the fuck out of the <laughs> oven. But also, never stay in the oven. Yeah. Yeah. So questions, comments, concerns for me. I'm like, really, bitch. Your fucking children's names. Are Carrie and Derry? Yeah, what the hell is <laughs> that? That's Who what you got out of all them? that? Yes. All this thing, and that's what Have you got. ever named a male child Derry ever? <laughs> like, how much of a Stephen King fan fucking are you? I've never, uh, I actually. <laughs> that's like not a real name. That. Yeah. I guess as a dude, I don't notice these things. I guess. Uh, maybe you maybe. should. I should notice these things. Do you have any children? I, yeah, I do. I would, I would notice if you were oh, Dolomite. That. Dolomite is my name, and screwing up ovens is my game. Awkward. <laughs> okay, would you recommend this to others? Yes. Yes. I would, definitely. I would too, because yeah. I think overall, even though we're talking about criticisms, it's still a yeah. really, 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 really effective, well done independent film. Very well done. I think it's stylish. I really enjoyed it's it. It's so stylish. It has like an original that. take and it's so professional in so many ways. We're yes. talking mostly about, quite frankly, actor performances, yeah. but like the production value, the set design, the, the score, creature, the color, Love the creature. The creature is fucking great. Amazing. The basement. Lots so of uh, fucking practical effects. The, the practical effects great. great. The children great. Like oh. there's the good so way the yeah. bad and it was so yeah. effective and yeah. so well done yeah. and I feel like they exceeded our standards yeah. of independent films yes. in so many ways yeah. of course I love Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers so my standards <laughs> might be a little lower than Joseph's I'm just not sure I mean they're definitely <laughs> not on the same page but would you watch oh yeah that's my ass touch it touch it touch it it's fine <laughs> it's fine suddenly our standards became the same level <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> right, I will put the link down below where you can rent the movie and watch it. We'd all recommend it. We love it. And also, where can people find out more information about you both? Because you're some of my favorite human Yay. beings. Yes. yes. That was awesome. Watch Clownado for stars. Oh my god. Clownado. Watch Clownado. Other than that, where can they find out more about you? Uh, me, uh, Dylan Fawn Harvey. On, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's about it. Follow her <laughs> on all of the above. Todd Sheets, where can I find Todd Sheets, them? just, uh, yeah. So I'm on Facebook, or you can hit us up anywhere. We got websites. Just do a search on Google. You'll find us out there. I mean, I'll them. also link down below. I'm going yeah, to put you're the on linker. YouTube. I don't yeah. have an Instagram because I'm, like, old school, but uh, I'm trying. And I feel like that's not a real gonna, thing. You're probably going to force me to do that. So, yeah, yeah it's going to happen. Yeah, bitch. And, Get a uh, motherfucking Instagram. Yeah. Yes. I do have a Twitter, but I don't. I'm like Patrick. I don't. He's not Twitter painted. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, I do post things once in a while. Twitter is important. Shut the fuck up. I do. I like regularly. I like it.
I'll do it. Also, don't forget that like button down below and also subscribe. We over here on Screen Quick Dream post new reviews and information and videos every single week. So join us in our quest to share more indie, more horror with the entire world. Also, 10 billion bonus points if you join the Patreon, where you can get like a bunch of cool perks as well as signed swag, Google Hangouts, and a bunch of other awesome rad stuff. Bye. Bye. Bye.